Hello guys, Kyle Christian 9 here for Let's Play TV Robo. In the last episode, we got some stuff done because of the free rangers, thank god. And I went ahead and skipped to the nighttime because there really wasn't anything else I could think about doing until nighttime. I did uh, get a bit of scrap and I did get a bit of uh, happy points in Moolah though, so. But um, again, this is the point in the, uh, in the game where now we aren't going to get random rain guns anymore. Like, oh! New item! Chibi Robo! It's a new product available through the online store. Let's see, ah, it's some new Chibi gear. They call it Chibi Radar. So with this thing, we we finally get introduced to the last of the... Well, we got uh, kind of a spoiler of this when we first read the Chibi manual, but... Now we finally get to own the last piece of Chibi gear. Well, the last purchasable one, anyway. I think it's the last one. But first, I want to get go ahead and get one of these here. Once you've got the four-year warp, you get access to two new uh, Recyclotron things, and the third type of Utilibot, the Bridge Utilibot. And I'll go ahead and get the living room, since you can get a lot more use out of the living room one than the kitchen, I believe. <laughs> I like my burps. It's a utility No shit! Alright, so he'll go set it up in the living room. So that's probably going to be the first thing I'll show off in this video, but I'll go ahead and follow um, Telly's advice and see what the new online item is. So, oh, damn, I don't have enough. Shoot. Curse you, Hot Rod! <laughs> Alright, well, I gotta find 700 moolah somehow. Well, actually, it's kind of perfect that I got that utilibot because then I can go after some moolah and cheapy doors. <coughs> and I just say so my voice is gonna be a little bit cloggy again. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Where do I wanna go? Oh, yeah, I wanna go over here. Because, uh. Let's see, where is it? Oh, okay, it said the new one. Alright. <laughs> I blamed a little bit for a second there. Uh, let's collect some moolah first, though, because, um, well, there's some stuff I can do down here. And, uh, well, I probably need this anyways. To be honest, it's probably always good that you have good crumbs with you. you. Might as well just pick up stuff. I Really, all I really need to do is just pick up moolah, so... Alright, let me go ahead and use this, um, cheapy ladder to get some stuff on this, uh, table here. Uh, I'm gonna need to move you a little bit over here, and that's it. And then go ahead and charge you up, because it's not gonna be tall enough. Alright, so yeah, um, basically, um, yeah, there is a little guy up there that you knew we could tell- Oh, shoot, it kinda cancelled out on me there. Hopefully that was long enough, but, um, yeah, the second that says that, uh, bookcase only has that happy crate on it, so don't even bother with that. We just want to get to the top here. Damn, I hate how Moolah because... Uh, damn it! No, stop stalling! Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. That happened four times. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Such an annoying thing. Alright. Ah. <sighs> Man, this is really commentary, isn't it? You're probably just sitting there, man, when are we gonna get some good stuff here? <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't really care about getting that. Let's see, uh, yeah, this should be tall enough. Alright, be able to climb up here. Alright, so the bridge utilibot basically allows me to get over there to the right. Uh, let me go ahead and push it over a little bit so that I can make sure I get to it. And, uh, probably when we put in this fuck, he's gonna. Yeah, he pops up again. Alright, you wanna know how to use the bridge utilibot? Now, this is the last of the types of utilibots. Basically, put in the plug to unfold the bridge. When you wanna shorten it, just tilt down on the control stick. To change the bridge's direction, plug it to the side opposite where you want to go. You can push and pull the utilibot freely. So, unlike the warp one and like the ladder one, you can push and pull this one freely, as I just did. Now, the bridge does take a bit of energy, too, but once it gets going, it definitely gets going good. This one isn't a very long bridge, though. Like, some, some of the ones that you'll get later in the game are actually really long, but... 
Um, you know, it basically allows us to crawl over here to this little window, this port, not that, you know, one of those things. And once we pick up the frog ring randomly, it's going to show us pretty much how to get over to here. Yay, free TV door! <laughs> But yeah, this is really all the bridge. All the bridge really allows us to do is it allows us to access the upper, pretty much the top regions of the uh, living room, which does allow us to access a few uh, bed, like bookshelves and stuff that we couldn't normally reach. Let's see. And so yeah, you can get like over there and stuff. First, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this TV door since I am in need of Mula. And, uh, 300. Alright, well, I'm halfway there. Alright. And then, of course, this, uh, sunshine... ...thing. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, this will allow us to get up to the top. Alright, so it's just some random string. So, yeah, you want to be careful when you're navigating this, because... ...you can see, like, you can go all around the room and just explore all this kind of stuff. And, oh, look, a TV door. But yeah, it's really easy to fall off this thing. So just like keep trying to run into the wall and then just run direction-wise, and you'll you should be fine. Uh, I'll probably have to come up here later on in order to get all the other TV doors eventually. But uh, let's see. like that one, for instance. I'm probably not gonna bother with that one over there because I'm gonna have to do all that climbing up here. So the hell. Oh, mainly I want to see if uh, this one has enough uh, blue to get me the damn radar. If so, I'll just go back to the GB house or whatever. <laughs> and it does! I, I think it does. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can pick up like one or two more coins just to be certain. Let's see if I can get over to the couch here. Uh, come on, I want to get the <laughs> wow, paper thin. Oh, 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 damn it! I'm an idiot. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> a period of epic success followed by a period of epic fail. Ugh. Damn it. That would have been so awesome. Yeah, I just want to get this 50 coin just because I can't remember if it was like 1740 or like 1780 or something like that. Damn it, it was so close. Alright, yeah, that's definitely enough move on. And yeah, I can't get back up here. Yeah, let's just go to this GB house at this point, screw it. I barely have any energy as it is anyways. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and charge... Oh, ah, alright. Get, let's get the PC done first. <laughs> alright, so let's go ahead and get the final GB gear. That citrus off divides, anyways. And, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm being a little bit too quiet. Oh yeah, cool! Techno stuff again. And there we go. Yeah, kind of wimpy, I know, but, yeah. So, you're probably wondering, what do we get to do with the GB radar? Well... Uh, as uh, television basically said, like a tiny bit earlier, it does allow us to um, see hidden stuff. However, it does have another use that, uh, that you need at this point in the game, and I really need to get to a plug. Uh, I can feel a burp coming on too, and I don't want to talk. Uh, uh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, bodily functions. <laughs> Uh, man, commentary has been so weird these past few videos, hasn't it? Alright. Well, I think that. Uh, God damn this stupid thing! Alright. Well, I think the next thing to do basically is to um, go upstairs. I need to trigger a certain event in order to uh, progress in the storyline. But yeah, it was mean that the, um, the, the, the the divorce threat happened, because that does mean that we get to progress with a lot of things in this game now, so... It's kind of one of those, you know, required events that you need to do. But, uh, well, first let's use... let's go ahead and use my fancy warp. Well, actually, let's go and see what the, if the Free Rangers have. Let's stop looking at me. The Free Rangers have anything new. I want to double-check and make sure. 
Or don't trade. All right. So yeah, I have to wait for a specific cutscene for them in order for Grand Slayer storyline now. So I will do just that. And God, I love this warp thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to say you do get another warp later on in the game. I just can't remember where it might. There might be one in the basement, just so that you don't have to climb up those stairs every now and then. But. Well, I don't know. Honestly, I can't remember. And yeah, uh, during the the, uh, the divorce phase of this game, Mr. Sanderson will start sleeping in his sleeping bag up here, so... But still, since he's sleeping, the Free Rangers will still be out, so you can still, you know, do stuff with them. So th that's just the thing. If they're asleep, the toys will still be active. If they're awake, then usually they won't be. <coughs> Let's see if we can get going in here. All right, well, oh. well, that's not the cutscene I was thinking about happening, but okay. But it is going on right this second, so that's kind of weird. <laughs> it's cutscene section. As if I hadn't made that joke enough times. Joke section. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Uh, let's talk with uh, Drake real quick and see what's going on here. Blasts and curses! I can't get to that castle. Uh, you know, talk about the castle. Oh, what am I doing here? If you are, please tell me space on the robo. Observe young Jenny watching the television. Okay, not, not, not. And there's an ice that's something to sleep. Very suspicious. Is something wrong with her TV? Is that <laughs> what they meant? That up. I'm at a loss. If the destiny is face on the find the truth. So yeah, despite the toys being act uh, like despite Jenny being awake, the toys are active and. We notice that she's being mesmerized by a weird symbol. Circle, little radar. Oh my gosh, she spoke English. And uh, well, I wanted to save this for later, but say hello to the actual sunshine. Then he's gone nuts though. <laughs> she hasn't been sleeping all night because she's all worried about her mom. She doesn't even notice me dancing around here. I don't know how to speak with these. So yeah, just like all the other toys, um, Jenny's teddy bear Sunshine is actual a uh, um, living speaking character. However, this is probably not the best way to introduce her because, um, for him, or really, I don't really know the gender. I don't think gender really matters. Well, but, um, yeah, that's this isn't part of the the Sunshine storyline because that toy does have a storyline of its own. So. Pretty much all the toys have their own storyline, I should just go ahead and say that now, but... Yeah, since, uh, that Jenny's in the middle of, uh, can I do it? Oh! <laughs> oh my god, did anyone see that? <laughs> oh. Wow, I didn't know I could do that! Awesome! <laughs> I walked in the air! <laughs> okay, so, anyways, uh, going off of what Jenny told us... Oh yeah, this is gonna be open now, sweet. Basically, we're going to be going into the backyard, because if anyone remembers, when I picked up those weeds a little while back, we unearthed a little symbol. The symbol matches the thing on here. And if we follow Jenny's instructions, that she was hypnotically told, we go to the circle, stand in the middle, and get our, our trusty new radar. And we do have all the equipment. Alright, so it's going to activate its function, but it's going to trigger this. And I love this song. <laughs> so, weird thing. Oh god, it's the 8th angel! Everyone run! <laughs> oh no, it's shooting lights out. Oh, it's a UFO! That's weird. Oh, I don't really know what's going on right now, but... Wow, they... Certainly looks like that uh, Close Encounters the Third Kind kind of stuff. Weird. Isn't this a little beyond my programming? I'm, I'm just a tiny little robot. I'm just supposed to be cleaning stuff. And now I'm interacting with aliens? What the hell? And why do aliens look like me? Am I not an alien? <laughs> Damn, that'd be one hell of a twist. Huh? Wait, he's talking. Um, 
Well, you can't hear him, and he's talking extremely small. Oh god, decision. Um... Uh, yes? Oh wait, are, why are you being sad? No! Uh, no, don't leave! Come on, first contact! Tell me the secrets of warp technology and, um, invincibility and, um... The secret to the perfect pie! What? That's it? You're just gonna leave? <laughs> wow. Jerks. Team your robo! Well, where the hell were you? Was that you, TV Robo? Come on, you're a computer, don't be stupid. I thought so. I know they were aliens. I've seen them on TV, but this is the first time I've seen them in real life. They're small than, uh, smaller than I would have thought. And they were really shiny. But their voices were so quiet, I couldn't make out what they were saying at all. Oh no. Oh, I have citrus off the other two. Oh, shoot. Oh, goody, I'm gonna need more moolah now. And what? There they go. <laughs> Random. Okay, so, uh, where am I video wise? Um, let's see. Well, let me go ahead and do one last thing before I end the video off here. Oh, well, shoot. Two last things, fine. This is actually probably better because I do need 300. Oh, cool, screw it. Good, man, that's good. Oh, sweet, I think I have enough to get the other bridge now. Thank you, Spidors! <laughs> well, that certainly saves time. Alright, but let me go ahead and do this one last thing. You'll notice that a bone has been uh, dug up, uh, has been buried in the yard here. This happens after the divorce threat happens, so, you know. But like the scurvy splinter, you use the uh, spoon to... Okay, I guess it's out. You use the spoon to dig it up, and we get the dog bone. Another thing you want to save for later, basically. So, and yeah, let's go ahead and show it off. Tao's favorite food. Yee. <laughs> Alright, so, well, I think I'll end the video of off here, since it's probably a good enough place to end it. So, this is Kyokush9 with Let's Play TV Robo, and in the next episode, um... Well, I really gotta figure out what I gotta do. I gotta get a lot more moolah, though, so, well, I'll see you later, guys.